Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I was working on a trace file with a client and showed him a few things. And he said, wow, you should really write that up or something. Share that because uh, those are pretty cool tips. So I thought, what the heck? Let's do a quick video. This is a uh, just a random trace file. All I did was start a capture and surf around the net, went to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. And we've got uh, how many packets here? 37,359 packets. Awesome. So first things first, um, just these are all just my rules of thumb. These are not for every single scenario and they're not engraved in stone in any way, shape or form. So in this trace file, I wanna analyze stuff and basically find out what's going on at a high level. And when you do that, you need to kind of rearrange your screen and kind of start with the proper display. So this is the default display. We have our pack, packet list, packet details, packet bytes, three pane display, everybody's seen that before, and all the colors are on. So all both of those things annoy me because they're very distracting, me personally. So first thing we're gonna do is turn off the colors. That's this little button right here. Click, the colors go away. Great. Second thing we wanna get rid of these two panes. So view, packet bytes, gone. View, packet details, gone. Again, we're working at a high level, right? We, we, don't, we don't need that level of detail yet. Now we have our, our trace, our packets. Now what do we do? Well, I want to find out which one of the conversations had the most data, for example. That's what I was doing with this one client. And he was asking me what's the easiest way to do it. And there's a lot of confusion around the endpoint statistics report and the conversation report. Uh, all I can say is the endpoint statistics report is literally a list of everything that has talked. But in, in this case, I want to find out who is talking to whom, which implies a conversation. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a conversation. So there it is. There's the conversation report. Now, the easiest thing to do is sort by packets, for example, if, if that's what you want to do, or bytes, if, if in fact it was a lot of data. So in this case, packets 37,000 packets or 41 megabytes. That seems like it. I'm going to right click on it, apply that as a filter, and select it. As soon as you do that, you get this last little pop-up. And this is where the questions start arising. Which, which one do I pick? Well, the first one is A to B and B to A, both ways. This is only one way, that's only one way. So usually, you want the top one, right? There you go. So let's close that for a second. And you can see that was pretty quick. That was pretty easy, right? The other, the other thing I want to briefly show you is I'm going to just get rid of this display filter. And this is my trace. Everything's kind of spaced out. It's very simple, but again, a lot of people don't know this. There's this one little uh, resize button at the top. Just hit it. It'll resize things for you. You can always just grab the top of the column if you want to move things in. Maybe your screen is limited to the amount of display real estate you have available to you, that kind of thing. And what I want to do is I'm going to do the, the same end result, but I want to get there differently. This is the conversation I was looking at, for example. Two IPs and two port numbers. So I want a display filter for both of those IPs and both of those port numbers. And this is, this is the feature I showed the guy and he thought it was kind of neat. Right click, conversation filter, and these are the options. Ethernet will do it based on two MAC addresses. The IPv4, obviously the IPv4 addresses. And TCP, here's the interesting part, will do the TCP port numbers as well as the IP. So that's kind of cool. If you notice, a lot of these are, are kind of grayed out. It's like IPv6 and that kind of jazz, because it's not it's not got nothing to do with the packet. So it's kind of context sensitive, if you will. So I'm going to click on TCP. Now, as you can tell, I have a display filter. IP address equals two IPs and two port numbers. See that? So that's another way to work on a conversation if you happen to pick one out of the trace. So I'm going to just get rid of this. I'm going to just hit the home key, go to the top. And I just want to just randomly page around again, just to show you. So like, see all these UDP packets? So you might have said, oh, this is interesting. I just want to pull this one conversation out. Same thing. Right click, conversation. And you can either do IP or if you want to make sure you get the port numbers, UDP. Bang. And there they all are. And now you know at the bottom of the screen here, it says there's 37,000 packets, but only 464 of them meet my display filter, which is only 1.2% of the packets. That's it, folks. So right click, conversation, and choose the appropriate filter that you want. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.